Hi, I'm Naisha McCauley, and you're watching AccessTV.org. Welcome to Conversatio, the show that introduces those topics that help you conduct your life in a much better manner and to also concentrate on citizenship. Hi, I'm your host, Prince Lee. Today's show is on Council for the City. Our special guest is Councilman Calixo Torres. Thank you. And our recurring guest, Assistant Chief Deputy Chief of Police Jerry Pleasant. Uh, our concentration on this show is going to be on citizenship and giving counsel to the current administration in the city of Hartford and perhaps being able to help them to better administrate their functions. Uh, you've been the City Council President, uh, Calixa, is that correct? That's correct. All right. And you have a BS in urban education and a master's in public administration. How have those two <coughs> courses of study enabled you to be in a position as a citizen advisor that you could be now? Uh, well, Prince, I think that, uh, you know, both our educational system and the city of Hartford's uh, municipal government are the two largest um, uh, taxpayer-funded operations right. uh, uh, in our municipality. They basically are uh, uh, the driving forces of our of our budgets. So that um, I think uh, understanding the educational needs and and, and how the uh, board of education operates, um, and in addition. Uh, uh, having uh, an ex experience in uh, municipal government are two things that go hand in hand. Would you do anything any differently with the educational system if you had that type of influence? Well, I think that, um, you know, wh while on council, I think w we tried to, uh, over a period of time, and we succeeded to some extent uh, in trying to uh, merge those operations which are uh, duplicated uh, so that uh, we could reduce the cost of uh, the operational side of, of the right. Board of Education. Right. Things like, uh, you know, payroll and personnel, um, school maintenance, those kinds of things are operations. Was that a very high factor, the duplication of effort? Yes. Yeah, Within it, the school, uh, it 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 drives some of the uh, some of the costs. I mean, yeah. Yeah. And you know, for instance, we we were able to merge the uh, the uh, computer uh, operations, the the uh, informational uh, systems operation of the uh, board of education and the city of Hartford's own operations. So that was uh, to some extent uh, quite successful. Um, and this is one area that. Uh, uh, that, that you see there could be uh, some efficiencies created. Uh, and so there are, there are other uh, efficiencies that, that can be created uh, from, from a, uh, a uh, management and administrative uh, point of view. Administratively, which is what I'm concerned with, the current administration and their skills so far as handling a number of situations, <laughs> including crime, Yes. Let me uh, interject something here that may be of importance. Uh, uh, as far as Mr. Torres' background, he's the only one that has a master's degree in city managership. Okay. Well, that's, we'll, we'll get to his management <laughs> capabilities. Um, you were telling me about the, your association with this international uh, city management association. City management association. Um, what type of things that you gain from that association that could be applicable to 
well, the situation? I, I was a uh, I was a member of ICMA for many many years. Uh -huh. um, uh, I was along with that. I was also a president, national president of the Hispanic uh, Managers Association, which is an association that uh, uh, is, uh, Latino t uh, city, town, and county managers belong to. So right. I was president of that, and was also the regional vice president of ICMA. Um, for the Northeast, all of the Northeastern United States right. uh, uh, membership. Um, uh, I think that uh, you know, it, it, along, th along with my own professional uh, training, uh, it gave me an understanding of uh, what good um, government is about and, and good administration of government is, is about um, and, and the separation of the politics from the from, from the actual uh, uh, administration. And I think I, I understood very well uh, the, the uh, separation when we uh, changed in the city of Hartford from a city council management form of government to a strong mayor form of government. And that, did, that, 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 those are profound changes. Didn't that, okay, didn't that move necessitate that the mayor had to have more training in the practice of you know public administration and managers, just formal training as opposed to experience or as a lawyer or it would have been that nice. area. It would have helped. Huh? It would have helped. That's good. Well, I, I think that um, under the under strong mayor form of government, what you know what you have is uh, you, you you shift the 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 uh, administrative operational responsibilities. From the city manager to a basically a chief operating officer. Right. So so if you have a if you have a a, a mayor um, uh, who understands uh, uh, the 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 people that he he or she has to surround themselves with right. in terms of being able to make sure that we have the best possible uh, administrators that can provide the best possible information and expertise. To the mayor, who has to ultimately make those those decisions, those policy decisions, um, uh, then we have we, we've got a so winning the team. mayor should have at least some recruiting and delegation skills. But you, you have to have ab absolutely, and 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 you know you have to have a, a, a leader, um, whoever it is, uh, who um, uh, obviously comes with has a vision okay. for for the city. Now you mentioned. Almost by definition, the, the, the strong mayor concept, and it, to me that ties into management styles. And I can remember going to school, uh, management school, and they had very well created management styles where you can go and say, well, uh, I think mine was benevolent autocrat, that's my management style. Uh, given the strong, the mandate for a strong mayor, uh, should he be strong? Should he be a little bit of an autocrat himself? So the current mayor, should he be a little more of an autocrat? Well, I think that this is, again, you, 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 styles are different. Right. You know, management styles are different. Leadership styles are different. Right. So you could have any, any number of different leadership styles. But what you, but what you want to have is you have to make sure that, that you surround yourself with, with the competencies mm -hmm. of the people that have those skills so that you can draw on, on those uh, skills and, right. and that expertise to help you make good decisions. Uh, one of the issues that we have had on, on council is because, especially with the, you know, when we did the shift, right. uh, it was an understanding of council members, I think, that we no longer were a council manager form, manager form of government, okay. that it was a strong mayor form of government. When you had a council management form of government, the the decision uh, was driven. The decisions were driven, and the policies were driven by the city council and the city manager. Did that what, create weaker city council, or did they automatically take more of a back seat than they should have taken? Well, it it, it changed the dynamics of of of, of the, the of the more of the this uh, operational decision making, right. because when you have <coughs> a council management form of government, what, what you have is the city manager taking direction directly from the city council right. and taking his marching orders 
right. or her marching orders right. from the city council. Um, the mayor is, is uh, in that form of government, more symbolic. Uh, doesn't have that authority. Uh, so the city council was, was used to uh, being a lot more involved in the operations of, of the city. Right. When, when we changed that form of government, that shifted. The, 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 the city council's role then became one more uh, it, it, of, uh, of uh, making sure the budget um, okay. was, uh, was, uh, was, was, a, was a good budget, was a correct budget. Uh, and, th and through the budget, it kind of sets some policy, some general policies, but it's the mayor who has the lead. So what can the, uh, your today, current city council person do to affect change in the current mayor's style? If he's not strong enough, what can they do? Well, first of all, you know, the, the, the mayor is elected in his or her own right. So it's the, the people, the voters, who have to make the ultimate decision right. in terms of who, who the mayor or what the mayor is or, or whether or not they feel that their mayor is, is going well, in the so right direction. So with that, accordingly, would you change the selection process? Well, if, we give, if we give the voters the candidate and we haven't properly vetted the candidate so far as his management skills are, right. how do you expect the voters to pick a winner? Uh, that's that's where uh, we have to make sure that that uh, uh, whoever the candidates are uh -huh. in, in an election, whether it's mayor or city council, that that we are comfortable with their level of expertise, uh, with their vision for the city. Uh, you know, and so, you you, you try to uh, uh, determine. You know, ahead of time, it's it's a little difficult, but you try to determine. Uh, uh, to, to see, you know, uh, who is the best candidate to run, to help you run uh, the, the city, or run the city. Well, so could, the, could the parties get into sending their potential candidates to some sort of management school to make sure they had those abilities? Well, actually, you know, they, uh, when, when officials are elected, uh, th there are uh, organizations uh, throughout the, you know, in the state that, that, that do provide uh, uh, some training, training. Uh, for elected officials, mm -hmm. uh, and, and and so they give them kind of an overview, you know, of what government is and how they run and, and that sort of thing and about budgeting and 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 um, and, and you know statutory uh, requirements and that sort of thing. So there is um, that uh, available uh, help, you know, to to elected officials. But uh, but then again, like I was saying before, you, you question about how does how does the council affect right. what the mayor does? Well. Yeah, the council has a lot of authority in the way it manages the budget. So, uh, and, and it sets through the budget what the general policies for the city are. Um, the, the council also uh, provides opportunity for uh, uh, a more direct interaction with, with the citizens and, mm -hmm. and, and, and communication. And, it, and, and the council can, uh, uh, it, it, establishing a good relationship with, with the mayor's office and mayor can um, uh, influence uh, a mayor in, in terms of you know uh, uh, what they hear as a sounding board and, and what and, and what they feel uh, should be the direction of the city should be taken. Influence. So, so uh, when you say influence, I'm, I'm concerned with the possible influences on a mayor who seemingly has <coughs> embraced uh, a number of alternative persuasions. Okay. And does that stop him from being a strong mayor? <coughs> the mayor in the city, through, through, through the charter, has a lot of authority. Mm. Um, one of the ways that, that, that a city council um, works with a policy in the direction that the city is headed is through council ordinances and council resolutions. So the council has a, has a legislative uh, mandate and, and power to be able to shape policy. Mm that once that policy is set in place has to be followed by the right. administration. As we continue on, the same basic approach we're gonna to take toward the position of the chief of police in the later segment. Um, but quickly, if you could give me your, your solution to the current management police within Hartford, what would you have done any differently? 
Well, again, I think you know our our city can only move forward um, in, in a very uh, solid and progressive manner only as long as as a city council um, focuses in on the issues, on the real issues. If it becomes too political, and uh -huh. then then you lose sight, you know, of what the real issue is. And a real issue could be crime. The just <coughs> explosion that, of crime and violence. That there has to be a meeting of the minds on, on council, and and uh, the council then then comes together, has to come together, and 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 uh, uh, come up with the resolutions right. and the ordinances that um, uh, will put uh, the, the city on track, you know, for what it needs to get accomplished. So, uh, you know, but well, the council has a public safety. Uh, segment to it, a committee that deals with. Oh. Well, so the councilman will also have to do a little better job. It's not just the mayor's, although he's a strong one, it's not just the mayor's job alone. And thank you for giving your views on <laughs> city management. And as I build with the stay tuned for another segment of Conversation.